the second Central Economic Forum kicked off. Da Nang attracts 34 investment projects into industrial zones. 2017 Da Nang Open Lion Dance Competition. Hello, it's great to see you back in DRT News. On September the 25th morning in Da Nang, the Vietnam Economic Times, in collaboration with the Da Nang People's Committee, the Central Coastal Regional Coordination Board, and the Vietnam Chamber of Commerce and Industry, held the second Central Economic Forum. Deputy Prime Minister Vương Đình Huệ attended the forum along with Minister of Planning and Investment Nguyễn Chí Dũng. With the theme, The Road to Sustainable Central Economic Development, the forum aims to provide practical solutions to promoting and creating the breakthrough of the central economic development through analysis of the relevance, effectiveness and impact of existing policies. Within the framework of the forum, the Vietnam Economic Times and the Central Coastal Regional Coordination Board boosted the cooperation in the communication activities, strengthened linkages between the Central Coastal Provinces and promoted the regional economic development. Considered as a locality having many advantages, over the past time, the Central Coastal Provinces have established close cooperation in training human resources for tourism sector. However, as assessed, the coordination between the localities has still not matched with their available potential. Recently, the investment attraction from Japanese enterprises has been a strategic priority of the city, particularly in such key areas as high technology, IT, supporting industries or high quality services. So far, Da Nang has attracted 489 FDI projects with a total investment of nearly 3.3 billion USD. Among them, 130 Japanese businesses are investing in the city with a total capital of more than 460 million USD. Japanese investment projects focus on manufacturing and processing industry, IT, construction and so on. Especially among six projects investing in the Da Nang High Tech Park, there are two projects of Japanese investors. One of the advantages of Japanese enterprises is that the city established the Japan Desk, which is a group responsible for promoting investment and giving support to Japanese businesses. This group is under the management of the city's investment promotion agency. According to the City People's Committee, since the beginning of this year, thanks to synchronously implementing many effective solutions, accelerating administrative reforms and improving the investment environment, Da Nang has continued being an attractive destination chosen by many domestic and foreign investors. Specifically, Da Nang has attracted 34 investment projects into the industrial zones with a total investment capital of nearly $783 billion. In addition, 73 FDI projects were granted with new investment licensee with a total capital of nearly 62 million US dollars. Particularly, the city has attracted one more investment project into Da Nang High Tech Park with an investment capital of 50 million dollars, bringing the total number of investment projects here to six with the investment capital of 144 million US dollars in total. Currently, Da Nang is accelerating the process of infrastructure completion of the high-tech park to timely seize the golden opportunities for attracting new investment projects during the APEC Economic Leaders Week taking place in the forthcoming November. To speed up the program on building new style rural area, Hoa Vang District informed that in the 2017-2020 period, the district will diversify its mobilized capital source was estimated $253.4 billion to support the development of traffic, irrigation, lighting system, cultural house, sports area, environmental sanitation, school, poverty reduction policy and production activities. The district will also synchronously put forward the solutions and call for the active participation from the entire political system under the set target the two communes of Hoa Tien and Hoa Chau will be recognized at New Style Rural Areas in 2018, 
while the Hoa Phước, Hoa Phong, Hoa Khương, Hoa Phú will be recognized in 2019, and the five remaining communes will be recognized by 2020. In 2020, the district will also make a dossier to propose being recognized as district, meeting new style rural area standards under the set of criteria made for 2016-2020 period. For the implementation of the new style rural area model, Hoa Vang will strive to reach 80% of villages meeting new rural style standards by the end of 2020. Hosting the APEC Economic Leaders Week 2017, Da Nang will become the key destination of the flow of international visitors to the city in the last months of the year. Currently, the city's tourism sector is ready to serve international tourist arrivals in the peak tourist season. 2017 is considered as the year witnessing the strong development of Da Nang tourism. Particularly, the city will see a large number of foreign visitors to the city within the framework of the APEC Economic Leaders Week. With about 15,000 international delegates, including heads of state, senior officials, representatives of businesses from the 21 leading economies in the world, who will come to Da Nang to attend the APEC Economic Leaders Week. The local organizing committee has paid special attention to the work of logistics and services, contributing to creating good impression on the delegates about the coastal city of Da Nang. With the APEC event, it can be said that the whole world is paying special attention to Vietnam in general and Da Nang in particular. Thus, Da Nang has thoroughly repaired and been ready to serve delegates in the role of the whole city. In addition to repairing tours for APEC delegates, Da Nang's tourism sector stated that they have also enhanced dissemination on the code of conduct in tourism sector among the workforce and domestic and international tourists. Besides, in coordination with housekeeping club, hotel association, tour guide club, organized training courses on housekeeping, reception, communication, friendly smile and hospitality expertise, as well as share problem-solving experience and skills on certain circumstances and customer complaints. Moreover, Tourism Promotion Center will pay focus on propagating and intensifying warmly welcoming and hospitable communication skills for members of Travel Cyclo team to be well prepared for APEC Economic Leaders Week 2017. With the aim of fostering the development of the city's marine economy, Da Nang will pay focus on developing the fleet of fishing boats. In particular, the group of fishing boats 90 CV or above will reach around 500 units by 2025 and 600 by 2030, of which the fleet of logistics service ships FC will reach around 15 to 25, especially 10% of them are still hooded composite hooned or composite hooned wooden vessels. Under the plan, 15% of fishing ships having capacity from 90 CV or above will use advanced equipment for seafood storage, such as refrigeration equipment, ice-making equipment, recirculating sea water system. Da Nang will stabilize the number of under 20 CV wooden glass vessels to be at around 150. On September the 24th evening in Da Nang took place the first Da Nang Open Lion Dance Competition 2017. In addition to eight Lion Dance teams of Da Nang, the competition also attracted many famous teams from other cities and provinces. The competing teams performed Lion Dance on Mei Kho Kwon, Plum Flower Pillars, which is one of the most difficult subjects of the Lion Dance art and often used in international competitions. The event also featured a performance given by winner of the 4th ASEAN Lion Dance Championships, the Kong Ngai team from Malaysia. Being held on a large scale of the first time in Da Nang, the 2017 Open Lion Dance competition appealed thousands of local young people and children who came to enjoy the skillful performances made by well-known lion dance teams. On September the 23rd and 24th, at Kofa Pass, the People's Committee of Mukangcha District in Bai Province held the Parachute Festival in 2017 with the theme Flying in the Golden Season. This is the largest paragliding event in the country, which has become an annual activity attracting thousands of people to Kofa Pass.
There are nine paragliding teams participating in the festival this year. The distinction of the 2017 festival is that instead of focusing on winning, the teams will incorporate visual effects to promote the image of Kofa Pass and Mu Kang Chai district. Kofa is one of the longest passes in the country, 1,200 meters above the sea level and 600 meters up elevation from taking off to landing. With the natural conditions of topography and wind, this place has become an attractive landmark for paragliding, especially during harvesting seasons with golden rice fields. This is the second paragliding event taking place at Kofa Pass in 2017. The song we have for today's news. Don't forget to log on to dot for more news and updates. Thank you for being with us and goodbye for now.